Hmm, I've always wanted a yacht like that. Seems a pity to blow it up, doesn't it? If we don't get moving soon, it won't be blown up. That's right. Now, Grace, you're a very lucky girl, you know. Mr. Peterson doesn't usually give anyone a second chance, so... Try to earn it. Penelope and I are going to arrange about the explosives, and you stay here and watch the yacht, all right? That's mine. I meant what I said, darling, so don't get any ideas about taking a walk, huh? Is that clear? All right, come on. How can you be sure she will run? She'll run just as soon as she thinks we're far enough away. Don't you worry. Oh, beautiful. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm sorry, miss. You cannot go aboard. I must. I'm sorry, but... I've got to see King Pedro or Robert Drummond. It's impossible. Stutter. Friend of yours? Well, not yet, but I'm sure we can work out something. I've got to speak to you both. It's about your uncle. Hello? Everybody safely aboard. Drummond, come here a minute, will you? The fuse has been successfully lit. Interesting to speculate just where on her person you could possibly have hidden the bomb. Now, isn't it just? Your move, I think. Sounds a bit far-fetched to me. Of course it's to every word of it. Eggman and Penelope are arranging about the bomb right now. You've no idea what sort of a bomb? They wouldn't tell me. Let's assume for a moment what she says is true. The question is, what do we do? Get the hell out of here before they come back. Right. Captain! See you around, I hope. Hey! Where are you going? Well, as long as we're believing her, I'd better get up to the castle and lend a hand. He strikes me as being extremely capable. Helpless as a babe without me around. <laughs> Marayana! They'll keep you from being lonely. Well, what about you? You must be joking. <laughs> 